Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? Seaball Yousef here, and today I'm just going to be bringing you a quick little uh, gameplay talking about the brand new Revolution DLC map pack for Black Ops 2. It is a Peacekeeper gameplay, of course, on the new map Hydro, one of four new maps that came in Revolution. And yeah, uh, let's start off with the Peacekeeper, because I'm guessing that's what most of you guys care about a little bit more. Is it overpowered? Definitely not. One thing I will say that is probably the first word that comes to my mind when talk, thinking of this gun is inconsistent because there are times when I'm using this gun and it feels like one of the best guns in the game and there are other times where I'm using this gun and it feels like people are just eating my bullets and my, the gun's not killing people very well so I don't really know if it's just the connection or if it's actually the gun itself but it feels very inconsistent so far to me and I guess that also could have to do with the fact that I was playing early in the morning where almost everyone else that was playing was super tryhards because <laughs> let's face it nobody not too many uh scrubs get on to play call of duty at five or six in the morning and also have the new map pack the day of so i think it might be a little bit connection based as well as playing more skilled players so i guess i'll uh, update that in the next little while to see if i still think it's very inconsistent but so far, that's what it's kind of been. They weren't lying when they said it. it's kind of a hybrid between a SMG and a assault rifle, because it does have the handling characteristics of an SMG, but it very much so feels like I have the abilities of an assault rifle as far as long range goes. But at the same time, you also kind of feel like you're doing pretty well up close. It's not really the best at either, but it's pretty good at both. And I think it definitely is a pretty dang good uh, attempt at... Uh, hybrid between an SMG and an assault rifle. Oh, really quickly before I forget, I just wanted to mention too, I tried the lightning strike several times today and I had no problems with it, so I'm pretty sure they fixed the lightning strike glitch where when you pulled up the iPad, the map didn't show, but I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. Um, and now let's talk about the four maps that are a part of Revolution DLC. First up, you got Hydro, which is the one I'm playing on right here. It's it's good. I like it. I think this one's probably my favorite out of the four. I'm still getting a little bit used to it, and there are a couple spots where you got lots of people camping, including two uh, overhangs, overhanging uh, the balconies on each side. It's kind of like, uh, crap, what's it? I think it was Stock... No. That uh, one in Black... The ma DLC map in Black Ops 1 where you had a missile in the middle and then on each side you had a balcony that was a little bridge. It's kind of like that except for it's smaller and I think it's better. It plays better. It's not as crappy as that map because I remember back in Black Ops 1 I hated that map. But this one I actually don't mind too bad. Um, the next map is Grind which is a skate park in LA. and I don't know. I'm kind of split on it because I've had a couple games where I was playing with good teammates and everything went well and I loved it and then I've had other ones where uh, my teammates all suck and it just seems like every time I go try to hop on B-Dom you get killed over and over and over again and I think they really screwed the pooch on grind as far as domination goes because in the very middle on B domination point uh, there's a little half pipe that covers you but it only covers you if you're coming from A domination side so if you're coming from C domination side you have absolutely no cover so pretty much you just gotta hope that they're blind or stupid if you're trying to cap it because you're pretty much screwed if they actually can open their eyes and come because yeah you got no cover on that side so I think they really screwed that up it's kind of unfortunate that it's so unbalanced like that but other than that I think the maps I don't know I guess we'll see once I get used to it because one of the problems I've had with all the maps so far is there's a lot of campers and you see that every time you get a new DLC map pack because people don't know the maps, so they go sit in a corner somewhere, and campers are always kind of a pain in the butt, but especially when you don't know the maps, you don't know ways to flank them, you don't know how to attack them from where they won't be able to kill you. So, campers have definitely been a problem, and actually I think Grind and Hydro are probably the two least camping ones, in my opinion, so far. Uh, the next one is crap i can't even remember what it's called it's the one on the swiss alps uh ski board uh skiing and snowboarding resort that one i don't know it seems i've had a game or two where it seemed really fun those games were search and destroy 
And then I've had other ones that were domination. And I just hated the map. Like it didn't, it wasn't doing it for me. So I don't know if it's just one of those maps that plays better in certain game modes, or if the fact that every time I was playing on domination, I was going up against super tryhards and my teammates all suck. So I just kept rushing to be domination point and dying. It's kind of sucky to cap B Dom on your own if the other team's set up well because there's so B domination point there is a giant rock that you can crouch behind kind of like the B Dom on this flag has that uh, cement barrier thing they have a rock that kind of lets you do the same thing on that map but they can shoot you pretty easily if they're across from you in the building which a lot of people do so it kind of makes B Dom hard to get by yourself if the other team's competent but overall, I actually kind of like that map. It's one thing I do dislike about it is it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of different paths that you can go. It kind of seems like there's one or two paths, and you got to go that way. And if somebody's head glitching with an LMG, you're screwed. And let's go to the last map. The last map is Mirage. I actually really like this map. I know a lot of people are hating it, but it's something different. It's got a lot of sand on it. It's in China, and I just really like the flow of it. It was, I think, I'm pretty sure that was where uh, my first game on Revolution was played, and I've had some of my better games on that map, and it just seems, I don't know, I just really like it. There are two overhangs overwatching uh, B Domination Point, but there are actually two really nice jumps that let you get up into both of the overhanging balconies, so it's actually not too bad. And while we're talking about overhang, uh, jumps to get into a camping spots above B. This is a great one right here on this van. If you run up here, as you'll see me do right here, you got a great jumping spot into a camping spot and it's really good. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I will be bringing a more in-depth video tomorrow with my Peacekeeper SMG Quick Start Guide, but for now, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, have a nice day.